Hello everyone, happy holidays, and welcome to Hungary's Holiday Kitchen. I'm Anushka Guerrier, and I run a blog called Single Serving Bites. Welcome to my vodka and latke party. I'm gonna show you my latke benedict, along with my mazel tov martini, to make your holiday party that much more festive and fun. So over here I have two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm a huge fan of Yukon Gold potatoes because I like how sweet they are and when you fry them up, they're really golden and delicious. I'm grating a sweet Vidalia onion. And we're gonna add it to these golden potatoes that were both grated on the large side of your grater. Something very strange, there's this weird thing that happens when you grate an onion, it doesn't make you cry, it's amazing. Now, I place it in a cheesecloth because liquid is a latke's worst enemy. So, I squeeze all of the icky, starchy liquid out. And now let's chop some herbs. Over here, I'm gonna use some parsley. So I'm gonna add some scallions. Over here, I'm chopping them really thin and small. So when I throw them into the mixture, all of the herbs are evenly distributed. And let's build it. Add my herbs. We're gonna add some salt, some pepper. Never, ever miss out on an opportunity to add salt and pepper. And I like to add flour into my mix. It helps take a lot of the moisture out. I'm gonna mix it all together. Cause I wanna make sure that all of the herbs and the seasonings are evenly distributed. What I'm gonna add into this to bind everything together is two large eggs. And then I'm gonna add them to our mixture. I'm just gonna take some of this mixture and place it into this cast iron pan in a nice lump. Press it down so you get a little shape that you want. Because the beauty about cast iron is it really cooks everything evenly. So you end up using a lot less oil. And then we're gonna move on to the hollandaise sauce. So basically, I'm gonna take eggs, separate the whites from the yolks. Woo! So here we're gonna use the juice of half of a lemon, and we're gonna put this into our hollandaise sauce, which is basically an emulsified egg yolk sauce. I mean, it's really not as difficult as people say it is. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's French, so it, it sounds fancy, but that doesn't mean fancy is hard. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna whisk these four yolks together. And basically you wanna whisk it until it looks like it's doubled in size. We're doing a double boiler. You wanna make sure that there's enough water in here to give you some heat, but you don't want the water to touch the bowl because what that's gonna do is it's gonna cook your egg. And this is a hollandaise sauce, not a hollandaise omelet. Over here I have a half a cup of unsalted butter melted and we're just gonna slowly put it in as we continue to whisk our sauce. Whisk that together. So now we're gonna add a pinch of cayenne. Okay, maybe a little more, I like my stuff spicy. Some salt and some pepper. Two tablespoons of room temperature wit cream cheese and continue to whisk it vigorously. Okay, so my consistency is exactly where I want it. Let's go and remove my latkes. Look at that, golden brown and delicious. Here we go. So I'm removing the latkes and placing them on the paper towel to dry it off and take off all the excess oil. Another twist is we're gonna sprinkle some truffle salt in here. I love truffle salt, truffle honey, truffle butter, like anything with truffle makes me oh, that much happier. We're gonna fry some capers in the same oil that we fried the latkes. I drain them in a colander to get all the excess moisture out of it because when you're frying it, the brine will pop back in your face from the oil and that's not a good look. You just wanna fry up until they blossom. They look like little flowers. And now time for this great party trick. Usually when you poach eggs, you're poaching them one or two at a time. I like to put them in an ice bath, which is basically a bowl full of water and ice cubes, and that shocks them and stops them from cooking. Take 
the poached egg and place it in this double boiler that I had made the hollandaise sauce to rewarm our eggs. It only takes a couple seconds to heat your eggs back up. So they're nice and runny. Dry them out on a paper towel. Cut off the heat there and let's start building. I'm gonna take two latkes. We're gonna put some thinly sliced crescent moon shaped red onions on top. You want it to be really thinly sliced because you don't want the flavor of the onions to overpower your latke. You want to have all of those dimensions of a bagel and lox, but with the addition of the crunch from your latke and the smoothness from your poached egg and your salmon caviar. Then we had a sliced, thinly sliced tomato. And with God's best chef tools, I'm gonna use my hands, we're gonna add, be careful not to break your yolk, your poached egg, pour a hollandaise sauce on top. Remember, this hollandaise sauce is made with cream cheese, so it has a nice tang and zip to it. Our fried capers. And you know, since we're going all out with the elegance of the truffle salt, why don't we put some salmon caviar on top also? You can find this where you find lox. With the fried caper and the salmon, there's just this really, really nice blend to it, and it just tastes absolutely fantastic. And there you go. My latke benedict, which goes perfect with my mazel tov martini. My mazel tov martini is inspired by the Israeli salad that I get at my favorite Israeli restaurant that has parsley and lemons and cucumbers, tomatoes, feta cheese, and olives. And what I did is I infused this vodka with the cucumber and the parsley and the lemon, dirtied it up with a little olive juice, and then on the skewer, what I have here is a pearl onion, a feta stuffed olive, and some tomatoes. So it's my Israeli salad and a martini, because if mom was gonna just drink her calories, she's gonna make it worth it. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Now, let's cut into this Ladka Benedict. Look at all that golden, yummy, oozy deliciousness. Wow. Oh man, the truffle, and the salmon, caviar, the crispiness of the fried capers. This is, I'm talking with my mouth full, aren't I? You just need to take the recipe below and make it yourself. Happy holidays from the Hunger Kitchen to yours.